In this video, we're going to look at automating the process of adding an organizational unit structure to an Active Directory infrastructure from a comma separated value file. We're going to use the commandlet new ad organizational unit that is part of the Active Directory for PowerShell module. So let's take a look at this. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to populate Active Directory, this Active Directory right here via this comma separated value file. So it's going to create an organizational unit for United States. It is going to then nest an organizational unit called California inside United States, one called Sacramento inside California inside United States, one for North Sacramento inside Sacramento inside California inside United States, and then turn around and do it again for the state of Oregon. Now, to automate this process, I've created a PowerShell script. Now I can't create, take full credit for this PowerShell script. I found a bunch of scripts and I was able to take the best of each and create this script. Now what I've done is change some variable names that I hope make it easier to understand. Basically the script goes ahead and gets the content from that CSV file we just looked at called ou-structure.demo, populates it into an object. We create some variables called domain name, org unit path, and org units. Org units takes the CSV, creates a reverse array so that it can pull the last part of each line before our delimiter here, our backslash, to create the name and then use the whole thing to create the path. Now, when I'm writing scripts like this, and I'm fairly new to this, I find one of the great things to do is before actually running the command and troubleshooting the command, I like to put echo statements in my script to see what is being produced. So here what I've done is I've echoed back each time, each iteration, the organizational unit path and then the new org unit name. So let me come over here and I've purposely put this down at the bottom of my PowerShell window so that I can run the script and we can compare. So here I've ran that script. So what I'm echoing out the first thing is going to be the org unit path for our first organizational unit, and that is going to be dccorpmim.com, and its organizational unit title will be United States. So we're putting this at the root. It's not till the second one, notice down here, that we create a nested OU called California. Here's the nested OU name with its path of OU United States corpmim.com and so forth. So you can pause this video if you'd like and look through the rest. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and I will comment out those echo statements. I will take the comment off of the new AD org unit and we'll look at that. So here's the command and we have a parameter name and of course we're going to get the name from that variable new org unit name. We have a parameter path. We're going to get the argument for that from the org unit path that we just looked at. And then finally, I've added protected from accidental deletion. Now you'll notice here I have that as false. That's because I'm in my test lab environment. And I want to be able to test this script and not have to go through the, the challenge of deleting organizational units by going into the advanced view, all that good stuff. So I have this at false. Now, when I run this in a production environment, I'm going to change this to true so that people can't accidentally right click on an org unit and hit the delete key and create a bunch of havoc. So let's go ahead and run the command. I have put it in there. I've commented out my echo statements. I've saved the command. We'll go back into the command prompt here. We'll put up the command and we'll run it. And if you notice, we don't get any nasty stuff back. I've gone ahead and troubleshot this. Took me a while. But let's go up to Active Directory and see what happens. We'll do an F5 and refresh our Active Directory. And we have a United States OU. Inside that United States OU, we have California. We have Oregon. We'll go ahead and expand all of this. And we'll see that all of our organizational unit structure has been created with one PowerShell script. So I hope this helps you write great PowerShell. I'm still learning. What an awesome tool to, to make sure that you know how to do 
it's going to save you a ton of time as you manage your Active Directory infrastructure and frankly your Windows network altogether. Take care.